what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to take a look let's see who's looking who's spying on sagittarius who is meddling with sagittarius right now let's see what's going on this is going to be for your sagittarius sun moon rising north node venus as well as that ninth house placement very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening for that ninth house. But guys, even with that being said, these are general messages. So please just take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? So first off, we have a page of cups. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or this could just be, it could be strong Cancer, or it could just be someone that owes you an apology. Let's see. Let's try to get three of these, try to get three different storylines. Who else might be uh, spying on Sagittarius Spirit? Thank you. So we have the page of Pentacles. This is the exact same page of Pentacles that came out in the last reading that we did when we said um, who is meddling or is thinking about spying on Sagittarius. Um, this Knight of Cups, this could be someone else that has an offer to offer you as well with the um, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. It could be an Earth sign. Let's move forward and see who else. Uh, we also have the Knight of Cups came out. This could all be one person because we do have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And this Page of Pentacles at the bottom was the Knight of Cups. And then the King of Pentacles was behind him as well. So this could be, um, like I said, this could be an, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be an earth sign, um, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know why the Virgo just slipped my mind like that. And then we also have with the Knight of Cups, that's another water sign. That is that Pisces energy for me as a reader doesn't necessarily have to be. Let's, yeah, I definitely feel like that there's some sort of communication that could possibly be coming in from an earth sign here. This person could be um, really paying attention, looking into you, doing some research into you, just flat out spying. But let's take a look and see what's going on here. <clears throat> Because I hope that these messages are finding you all in good health and in good spirits. Yeah, this is someone is wanting to overcome source some sort of three of swords energy for sure. Yeah, ace of swords to the three of swords. Someone's wanting to shed some sort of light on the three of swords, some type of pain, betrayal, some type of heartache. Wanting to move things onto calmer waters here. This may just be the same person for you, Sag, but let's see. What's the Page of Cups energy here, Spirit? Why is the Page of Cups here for someone that is spying on Sag? This person feels as if they missed an opportunity from you. Will of Fortune and the Hierophant. This person definitely feels like that there was an... This part, yeah, this person's coming to make an offer. They're wanting to work on this. I feel like that there may be some type of um, deep knowing that this energy is on the way back around. But I do feel like that this person feels like that they missed an opportunity with you. I feel like that this person could be experiencing some sort of karma at this time due to whatever happened in your situation. It could have been a third party situation. But I feel like that this person ultimately is learning some sort of lessons here. This person does want a reconciliation. This Page of Cups water sign energy, they are attempting for a reconciliation. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it heavily. I feel like that the love that they didn't express for you, I feel like that it weighs heavily on them. Um, let's see. What about this Page of Pentacles here, Spirit? Why is the Page of Pentacles? Showing up for someone spying on Sagittarius. Guys, if you're still with me at 3.40 a.m., we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. Help circulate these messages to other Sagittarians in need. But it also just helps give your readers some feedback. All right, Sag. Um, our spirit wise, uh, the page of Pentacles here for spying on Sagittarius. Thank you. Um, so we have the death card and the page of swords. So this could be a strong Scorpio or someone w that is undergoing a massive transformation right now. They are um, looking like they're doing their research. They're spying. They are curious about making some sort of offer towards Sagittarius. I feel like that this person is trying to see if there are other options around. Um, we do have the death card, the page of swords, the ten of swords. So... I do feel like that you walked away from this person because of some type of third party energy for sure. This friendship this something that was celebratory energy. It ended quickly. There was a third party there. This person could wonder, like this person could have walked away from that third party and is wondering if they're, what options are out there and they're considering you. Um, they're, they're not sure if the, if the 
if it's um if it's if, like if it's really over this person is really trying to figure out is it really over are you entertaining other options have you moved forward there's something about this person's energy with the page of pentacles I don't really like it because I feel like that they might be going about trying to figure this out in a very childish way. But we're going to come back and do some more clarifying, Sag. Spirit, why is the Knight of Cups here for someone that is uh, spying on Sagittarius? Why is this energy here? So we have the Emperor and the Ace of Cups. This person is, this Knight of Cups energy is going to be coming in to express some sort of emotions for you after a time of healing. So Sagittarius, I'm not going to lie for some of you all, this is three different people. But for a lot of Sagittarius, I feel like that this is one person. I feel like that this is someone that you're very attracted, attracted to. I do feel like that there was some sort of betrayal that happened here. I feel like that there is a need for some recovery to take place here. I do feel like that the repressed emotions that this person has, I do feel like they're burdened by it. This person is going to be taking action suddenly and it could catch you off surprise and it could come off in a very logical way. Guys, I hope that these messages are offering you some guidance on your journey. So we have one, two, three, four major arcanas out here. The Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, the Death card, and the Emperor. I definitely feel like there's some sort of masculine energy that is undergoing some sort of massive transformation. Let's look at this uh, Wheel of Fortune spirit. Where is the Wheel of Fortune here for the Page of Cups? Thank you. The Chariot. This person does have some... I, I do feel like that this person has some upheaval. I feel like that this person really did um, whatever. This person sabotaged something. And because of this sabotage, I do feel like that this person is well aware that this is going to be an uphill battle. But I honestly feel like that this person is up for the task. The chariot did come out in the upright here. I feel like that this person is, is willing to, like this person wants to win at all costs. But I, I'm not going to lie. I don't like that they're showing up as the Page of Cups. Um, but it could just be because it's a cancer. Why is the Hierophant here, Spirit? I definitely feel like that this is someone that feels like they missed an opportunity with you. And they want to figure out a way to overcome the... What's taking what's taking place? So we have yeah the full card and the hierophant. This person wants a brand new start for you, um, for sure. I do feel like that this person is willing to fight for this. Um, I do feel like that this pay, this is an apology for someone that missed an opportunity. There was quite a bit of imbalance. There could still be some sort of imbalance that this person is still dealing with. What is this um, page of cups intentions as it pertains to Sag? Yeah, Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh in reverse. So this person is releasing some anger. Like this person, like for a while, this person was angry at Sagittarius, but I feel like that this person is getting over that. So what is Sagittarius's advice as it pertains to this page of cups and or this apology coming in? What is Sagittarius's advice? I do feel like that there's an opportunity for you to at least overcome the obstacles here with this person. Um, I feel like that trying to like it's there's something there. There's there's a new start here, but I do feel like that there's something non-traditional about this new start. Let's see. What is Sagittarius's advice as it pertains to this page of cups energy here, spirit? Thank you. So we have the three of wands. I feel like that this is really saying. Um, take your time and really close out any unfinished cycles, whatever it is that you're st you've still been holding on to. There are some so there is some sort of cycle that you're being asked to close out to, um, because with the three of wands, this is saying patience is needed, and that your ships are coming in. So this ship, this apology is on the way in, but so that you can make the most of this apology, there are some internal cycles. There's some stuff that Sagittarius. Is still holding on to that needs to be closed out in order to have the most out of this. 
So let's move forward to this Page of Pentacles energy. We have the Death card, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. I want to see this Death card here. There's definitely some sort of um, permanent change, transformation that's going on inside of this situation here. This could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Could be a Scorpio. Let's just see. Why is the Death card here, Spirit? For the Page of Pentacles. For someone that is spying on Sagittarius. Like this person could be like a trickster or jokester. I don't know. Let's see. What's going on? What's the why is the death card here for the page of pentacles? Wow, the death card in the reverse came out with the queen of wands in the reverse. See, here's the thing here, Sagittarius. There isn't I would say that there's a real need to you might get the opportunity to communicate with the Scorpio here. Um, but there's a need to really pay attention to what this Scorpio is saying, how this Scorpio is showing up, because I do feel a sense of that, like there could be some ill intentions here for this Scorpio. The page of pentacles in the reverse is about ill intentions. Someone is childish, lazy, not willing to really put in the work. And with the death card coming out in the reverse to clarify the death card, this person is resistance to making some change. There is a need to really pay attention and to see if you can observe um, obvious changes in this person. If not, I do feel like that the um, uh, potential outcome here is another betrayal. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords here, Spirit. The Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I mean, the Six of Pentacles in the upright, the Empress in the reverse, though, in the Page of Cups. Um, I do feel like that with this um, particular Page of Pentacles situation, it could be a Libra, it could be a Taurus, it could be a Scorpio, or it could be that Earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I feel like that there could have been some... Um, Six of Pentacles, this person could have, there could have been unrequited energy here, but I feel like that this person could have been possibly feeding into two different situations. Um, and it kind of stunned it. it. I do feel like that it brought an abrupt ending to this connection. I also feel the need to tell you, Sagittarius, that this person could presently still be given into another situation, possibly to a Libra or a Taurus. Okay. Yeah. And to be honest with you, there could also even be some form of pregnancy around that energy. I'm not saying that your person is pregnant by someone else. I'm not saying that your person has gotten someone else pregnant, but there is some type of pregnancy energy around this person, meaning there's something that was meant to start and grow, but I don't feel like that it's going to, like there's an abrupt ending to that. Okay. Yeah, there is. See, this, I am feeling like this could possibly be just the stages and all one person, but just take it as it resonates. Someone here is really wanting a, a new beginning. Someone is wanting to balance out a betrayal. Like someone is wanting to put the past in the past. Worst is over. Can we have a fresh start? Forgiveness to take place here. I do feel like that. But until this, it's like until this Ten of Swords is addressed, the fertility in this situation is just kind of stagnant. So here for the Knight of Cups, we have um, uh, the Emperor, the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Swords. This could be an Aries, guys. This could be the child of your, uh, the father of your children. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Either way it goes, I do feel like that this person has some type of romantic desire, some type of romantic vision for you, emotion, romantic emotions for you that they are desiring to express. But there isn't. There is a need to. For healing to take place yet. I'm not sure that the healing is done. <clears throat> oh, before we move into that, let me get your advice as it pertains to this Page of Pentacles situation. I'm just skipping all kind of stuff, Sag. What is this Page of Pentacles true authentic intentions as it pertains to my sexy Sagittarius? What is this Page of Pentacles? True authentic intentions as it pertains to my Sagittarius. Um, so three cards came out. We have stay in your lane, red flag, and narcissist. You see what I'm saying? If you don't observe a change inside of this person, 
like it is it is best for you to keep moving forward honey because i do feel like that there is some type of red flag that this per like this person knows that if they show up in a certain way that that's going to put you on high alert for the red flags so I feel like that this person is trying to tiptoe around not putting up any red flags, but I don't feel like this person is actually doing the work to heal the, the red flags, okay? I do feel like that this person is just a tad bit full of themselves and feel like that they can, you know, convince the world of whatever it is, whatever story they create in their head. So what is Sagittarius' advice as it pertains to this person here, this page of Pentacles in the reverse? This person could be younger than you, um, with it being the Page of Swords in the Page of Pentacles. Uh, could be that Capricorn energy doesn't necessarily have to be. I do feel like that you're being told to reclaim your power and really assess where you began to plant your seeds. And then also, I feel like that this is um, really assess and address your field because I feel like that you're kind of disc discounting yourself. So you're taking your seeds and you're planting them on other ground, expecting that ground to be fertile when the fertilest ground for these particular seeds are your very own. Okay. So let's get back over here and clarify this emperor. Why is the emperor here spirit? Aries energy. Why is this here to clarify the Knight of Cups? Temperance, patience. This could be a Sagittarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I do feel like that this Emperor is balanced. And this person is to practice Sagittarius energy strong. So you, this could be another Sagittarius. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But I feel like that this person is really taking their time and really getting in tune with their emotions so that they can, in divine timing, come in and express this to you. I do feel like that this person has some hidden fears, though, that could be holding them back. Let's see. That's why the challenge is the Four of Swords. They could still be wrapping up some wounds from a previous connection. Can you show me more on the Emperor Spirit? Thank you. The Two of Cups and the Nine of Wands. The Queen of Cups. This person definitely wants a connection here with Sagittarius. But with the Nine of Wands, it's it's like... Um, someone could be exhausted. And it's I feel like that someone here could be... Ex they have the emotions, but they're not sure that they are willing to be vulnerable again. They want to be, this person does desire to be vulnerable. And the nine of wands in the reverse, it can stand for your put, someone putting their guards down. But I feel like that this person needs to work them, like that's why they're being patient is because they know that it's, this situation here is going to require them to be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here for the Knight of Cups? Thank you, Spirit. The Magician. See, there, there is this energy like this. This person has to get a game plan together. They have to, and they have to... And they have to see where some type of past heartache that they're still processing is really causing them to restrict their potential. The Ten of Wands in the reverse. They have to put down some type of burden from the past. Some type of fall from grace. They were embarrassed. Some shit didn't work out right. So whatever didn't work out in the past that they're still holding on to that restricts their confidence. There was some type of possibly a public fall from grace. Like there was some sort of public embarrassment. Um, this person could have showed, like people could have publicly seen just how controlling this person was. This person could be embarrassed because it was revealed just how controlling they are, yet how unwill like this person is controlling and they're very demanding but they're not willing to bring the exact same to the table the emperor in the reverse so something about this situation that they're still having to heal from could have been like a public situation like it could have been seen by more people than this person was comfortable with okay so that energy still has to be healed up here because this person is well aware that this this situation with Sagittarius is going to require a level of vulnerability that this situation here Cause them to put their guards up against. 
Okay. So let's see. What is this person's intentions? What is this Knight of Cups intentions as it pertains to Sagittarius? All right, Sag. We're getting a little long. It was 2017 when I just looked up there. This is getting a little long. Let's hear it and wrap it up. What is this Aries, Knight of, Knight of Cups, Aries energy? What is their true, authentic intentions? Um, they're, Okay, so this person is, is trying to become all that they can become. I feel like that this person, and, and if they're not trying to become all that they can, this person does want to level you up. I do feel like either this person is looking to be leveled up by like and not leveled up financially like this person. I do with the emperor coming out. I do feel like that this person wants to kind of like either create a position that allows you to be um, elevated, allows you to get out. Like there's something about this person feels like you're playing yourself small. The black square speaks about um, keeping yourself inside of restrictions. I feel like that with the um, podcast, I feel like that this person sees your potential and they're wanting to put that, you know, this person's intentions is to elevate that potential is really what I feel. So let's check out Sagittarius's advice. Yeah, see, I, feel, I don't feel like this person, like, I don't, this person feels like you're very influential or whatever the case may be, but they don't feel like that you're reaching your full potential. What is Sagittarius's advice as it pertains to this Knight of Cups energy spirit? Psh, do what makes you happy, Sag. Focus on your happy miss there could be a need to reach out to family here yeah baby you got to focus on your happiness and if this is someone that's been left out in the code and they got to come back in don't be embarrassed because you feel like that you're spinning the block or whatever the case may down there's a need to put that ideal down but this is this is telling me that sagittarius's advice is to do what makes you happy yeah get out of your head about it let's go ahead and get a closing message here All right, spirit. Let's see. Let's see. All right, baby girl. Let's get a closing message here. Thank you. Spirit, I am filled with light. Change me, divine beloved, into one who knows my spirit is eternal and ageless. Let me release any old ideas of, of, of constriction or limitation. My whole being is filled with joy, energy, and beauty. A vessel for the divine and then mystery. I rest in the unknown. Change me, divine beloved, into one who rests peacefully in the unknown. Into the right and timely actions are shown. I offer my myst my the mystery to you alone. And then we also have desires. Change me, divine beloved, into one who offers all longings to you. Let me feel whole, knowing all true needs will be handled. You are my source of all. Alrighty, Sagittarius, I absolutely love you. I hope that this offered you the guidance that you were seeking on your journey. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sag.